welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the Mezco Toys five point pink skulls. Yes, guys, I know I don't take a look at too many five points. In fact, this is probably the first five point review, but these guys came with so much they kind of just warranted their own review but first if you're new then welcome this channel is all about cool action figures analyzing them hunting them taking pics of them and of course playing with them if that's your sort of thing make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon so you stay notified when i do upload new content and if you do enjoy this video or any other content that i put out please remember to give them a thumbs up it really helps the channel grow and it's free and easy for you to do with all that out of the way once again guys we are going to be taking a look at the mezco toys five points pink skulls yes guys like i said this is actually the first five point review that i'm doing on the channel um i don't have too many five points in fact i only have one other five points and it is a mezco five points and yes as the title says there is a bonus review here and it will be the other mezco five point that i have what exactly is it you'll have to wait and see uh but with that being said guys this set actually came with the brand new mezco toys mezcon summer 2021 high roller box set and i have to admit i was not expecting it to come with everything that it did i knew we were getting the three pink skulls but it went above and beyond in my opinion as you can see we are here in the pink skulls hangout area and i guess club i guess uh so that is really cool that they included that so before we take a look at the pink skulls and everything else that this amazing set comes with i'm gonna go ahead and actually remove the pink skulls from the set here so that we can take a nice close look at the set itself so taking a nice look at the back you there's a lot to see as you can see and what i really love about this and this camera angle is it really looks like we're just in the hangout with them uh but we got a tool bench back here we got the pscc logo right there the fuck off roach right there that's a little you know jab at obviously gomez we got a shelf full of stuff right there which they obviously use to get into all sorts of trouble you got your power switch right there you got a note to buy milk on the way out so that they remember uh bless this home mat on the bottom you know what let me just go ahead and turn this up this way so you guys can take a look at the bottom because there's quite a bit to see as you can see there was obviously a homicide there and they just put the rug on top of it kind of like they would on top of a uh juice box stain but you do have a bottle of bourbon right there on the right side you do have a broken brick wall right there which is really cool on the left side you do have a jail style window i guess with a uh, live sold out concert uh, poster a dartboard uh, with their bills right there uh, broken tv a guitar or bass whatever you want to call it uh, for the good time oh you got someone's number there to call for a good time uh yeah all real cool and then on the very bottom it is checkerboard it is a very like it's not thick but it's not thin pla not plastic but a uh, cardboard uh but it's still pretty cool and decent for what you get and uh it is a little floppy because i just realized this while i was setting this up but there's actually two-way tape uh things right here uh where it's supposed to attach that i just never took off so uh I ended up using my own tape to kind of hold it together so now that i know that i'm probably going to do that after this review but i kind of like it being a little loose and open so that way i can kind of mess with it a bit and show you guys some stuff so at the very top you do get some uh two by four wood boards running across the top on the outer left side or i'm sorry the outer right side you have that broken brick wall with a stop sign right there on the outer uh, right side or left side, I don't know which side, it's the other side, guys. You have another outer brick wall with a post no bell sign, save the queen, spray painted, and like I said, a gel style window right there. And on the back, you do get the PSCC Super Secret HQ with a Gomez was here graffiti right there, knowing that Gomez was probably there. Uh, and then obviously at the door, it says, piss off when i open this up on my podcast coffee and toys guys join me every sunday morning for a weekly toy news toy talk podcast called coffee and toys where we go over all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders and so much more as well as unboxings like i did for this guy i got super excited because i thought the door actually opened but it doesn't it's it's solid so yeah but like i said there are some two-way tapes right here that you just peel off and it looks like you can tape it together but as you can see i utilized my own tape to hold it together because i didn't realize that uh, and I was actually going to use glue to actually hold it together, but now I'm glad I figured that out. But yeah, guys, that is a look at the, 
I guess, Pink Skulls Chaos Club uh, little HQ that they gave you with the five points Pink Skulls. So let's go ahead and position it to where we had. So it looks like we're just inside with them. And let's go ahead and stand them up and we'll be right back. So here we are with them all back in the clubhouse. And as you can see, they are definitely different and awesome. Starting off with my favorite one right here in the middle. Can you tell why he's my favorite? Uh, hint, hint. Uh, so yeah, guys, this guy, let's go ahead and pull him forward. So they all basically do have the same body. And uh, these two guys have the exact same body. This guy just has a different arm right here. But it is the, you know, pink skull look. It, it's a little more updated. It looks more, a little more leathery. You do get a middle finger right here on the right shoulder. And the pink skulls chaos club logo on the back. This guy's wearing like the little, you know, Archie Jughead type of hat right there. Um, this guy right here is my second favorite because Mezco don't give a fuck. They said cigarettes are still cool kids. Smoke up. Um, no, they didn't, guys. I totally don't speak for the company. Do not do not take my word for that. Smoking is bad. But anyways, uh, you do get another middle finger right there and the Pink Skulls Chaos Club logo on the back. Go ahead and focus. And you do get the Mezco logo and stuff right there on the leg, which I'm not the biggest fan of whenever toy companies put their stuff like that on there. But it is what it is. And the last but not least, we do get the third Pink Skull right here with nothing on his head. Just a basic Pink Skull, like I said. Same exact body as the other one with the Captain hats. I don't know what to call that. I'm not a cat. I'm not a hat connoisseur guy, so I really don't know. But that is not all they come with. They do come with a lot of accessories. So first and foremost, they each come with a stand for themselves. So one, two, three stands with this box set. But now getting on to the accessories, which is actually really cool. So Mezco could have stopped at giving us the Chaos Club. and But no, they decided to give us some really cool accessories. Uh, so first and foremost, they gave us a chain. Next up, we have a 2x4 with some pink nails driven through it. We do get a pipe. A spray bottle, I believe. A baseball bat that says, whoops, Skull Crusher. Super cool. Has a little pink and black ribbon right there second to last accessory you get is a pink molotov whoops, is a pink molotov cocktail as you can see the flame itself is a flame color but the bottle itself is pink so that's pretty fucking cool the last accessory that they do come with is of course a switchblade so yeah guys super super cool and so while i have you guys here why don't we go ahead and deck these guys out this guy gets a switchblade because he's flipping you off he's ready to fight he means business if we can get him to stand if we can't then well he doesn't mean business i guess because he can't stand but i think we can get him to stand guys what do you think let me know down in the comments below vote down in the comments below am i going to get him to stand here or Am I going to move on to the next segment? Uh, we'll find out. But uh, this guy's giving me a lot of trouble. So I'm, it's looking like we might just move on to the next segment. Or I might just put a cut in right here so that we can get on with the video. As soon as I say that, he stands up. So that was an in-depth look at the Mezco Toys 5 Point Pink Skulls Chaos Club. Which comes with the Mezco Mezcon Summer 2021 high roller box set now this guy is going for about 30 bucks on offer up and ebay so do not worry if you did not get that box set they are going for pretty cheap online if you find them so if you did enjoy what comes with these guys go ahead and be on the lookout for that i personally do absolutely love these guys even like i said at the beginning i don't really fuck around with five points but i unfortunately don't have the mezco 112 collective pink skulls so i guess i'll settle for the five points but uh, yeah, guys, with that being said, like I said in the title, there is one special uh, extra review to come with this. Uh, so with that being said, like I said, there is one other five points that I own. And it is, of course, another Mezco. And that being the Roach with the golden head Gomez five points right here. He's actually technically a seven point because his little antennas right here or antlers or whatever you want to call them actually do move and stuff. So... I say he's more of a seven point articulated figure, but 
looking at him, he looks really fucking cool in his nice black suit. And if you look at him, I think the legs may actually be the same as... No, the Pink Skull's legs look slightly bigger. I don't know. But he does come with the gold chucks. And actually, the body... Well, I don't know. I'm no good when it comes to seeing whether or not the sculpts are the same. So, but anyways, you do get a nice gold head right here. It looks really good. Obviously, five points of articulation. That's why I didn't go over the articulation with these guys. Because you get up and down movement of the arms and the legs. And, of course, the head. That's where you get the five-point name from. Uh, but this guy does come with a pea shooter right here in his hand. As you can see, he comes with a ninja zip sword right there. He, of course, comes with a stand to stand on. He, of course, comes with a gold boom boom. And last but not least, a hoverboard, which is still magnetized to the feet of the five point Gomez, which is super, super cool in my opinion. So, yeah, guys, that was the super. S Whoops. So, yeah, guys, that was the bonus review for you guys right there. We were taking a look at the Mesco. Golden Roach, Five Point Gomez. With that being said, guys, let's take a look at a couple quick little picks I took of these guys. I don't know if it's going to be the full 10 or not, uh, but there should be a few picks at the end of this video. But before that, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. But as always, have a great fucking day. Mm. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those picks, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited picks called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out. If you like what you see, let me a follow there as well. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of any figures I do reviews on for this channel, go ahead and check me out over on TikTok at Cool Figures. That's where I post all my unboxings. And join me every Sunday morning for Coffee and Toys, a weekly Toy News Toy Talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news, reveals, pre-orders, and so much more. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jess the Bat Magirol, a.k.a. The Buff Collector. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to this channel sponsor, V-Rare Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop, anime, Pokemon card, and toy print needs. And of course, use code COOLFEARS at checkout for 10% off your order. V-Rare Store, check them out, guys.